Okay, so this video, and hi, I'm Ryan from Ryan's Guitar Surf at Everest Music. So, in this video, um, yeah, we're going to start working to this stuff. I'm going to be doing uh, a metal rig because Halloween needs metal. Dot of nothing else to do, basically. So, here we go. Okay, so I'm thinking Dinky 22. It's cheaper than other guitars. Uh, so I'm thinking dinky because it wouldn't be. Oh, the fridge. Oh, okay. Um, I was thinking dinky as a metal guitar. Mm. Only question is, <laughs> there's a wide range of dinkies on sale at Everest Music. Um. I would do a Floyd, but the one with the Floyd has a broken G-string. Yeah, and that will take some time to set up tune in the whole nine yards with that one. Um, so it's. I'm not really that fluent with Floyds, to be honest. It's easy. Is it? Yeah. I'll give it a go. That could be another video, just putting the string on a Floyd. Yeah. Okay. Um. I would have went, there was also Ibanez, but um, they had one that was a um, uh, HSH pickup config with a Floyd, remember that one, the Y? But that's sold, so that's a, uh, that was the sold because I'm not seeing it. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking, I'm not going to do the 8 string because 8 string, like, if someone's coming in just buying a metal rig, 8 string's kind of off putting. So, um, go for the natural. It's lighter and it has a stock trim. Actually, what's the weight difference? Actually, I'll go with this one. So, I'm going with the purple one for three, 345 euros. Okay, now for pedals. So, here we are. Now, I'm thinking harmonies for solos. And then metal zone for the kind of Metallica trash metal battery sound. And where is it? Where is it? The oh, Jenny, I can't really zoom in here. But there's a purple metal pedal by X5 that I have played, and it's quite nice. And that's it, really. Can't think of anything else. Maybe it's sustainable, not really. The equalizer is no point because. The metal zone kind of has an EQ built into it, so yeah, that's it. And amps. Oh, I didn't realize the Mustangs were like 40, 100, and 200 were. I thought it was 40, 60, and 100. Have you done the videos already? Yeah, I'll just uh, edit the audio out and then just. Like 40, 80. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Cantanas are 100 watt and another 100 watt. Sorry. The container does a hundred watt with a single twelve, and then does a hundred watt with two twelves. What's the difference? You just gave the answer in the question. Does an extra cab like? Yeah, size of it. Speakers, different things. One by twelve or two by ten or two by twelve or something like that. But they're both the same pair. Yeah, but you get different sound from two speakers. Yeah. One. Suppose. And it was. Be different channels or extra features on the top. Um, so, no, they look very similar to me, I could be wrong now, but, probably end up going with a Cantana, because they're the crowd favourite at the moment with modelling amps. Okay, so I'm back in the room with my metal rig, and, so, I'm going to say this first. I am plugged into Reaper. This is the amp I would use because I have found out in researching for this video and 10 minutes of looking them up. And since Boss makes the Cantana, there's a metal zone you can download for the amp. So right there you're saved 100 quid if you're going for this rig. And you get octaves, you get loads of different effects. So you get like good amount of for your money. Okay. So for the metal pedal by x Wave, you get this sound, and it's great for them. You 
you get that kind of heavy lead sound, then you get the holy diver kind of sound. This guitar, it's, you also got a Floyd, so you can do a damn crazy, like. And it's still in tune. And then, uh, if you hit, want to hear what this can kind of sounds like, because in the shop, can't download the stuff for it, so I can't really use it the way I want to. But yeah, this is the metal zone. And if you want to see what the can kind of sounds like, uh, link to view there. But here's what the metal zone sounds like. So, like that's me butchering metal, but you can still get like that kind of good sound out of it. And again, the metal zone you can get for the tube, uh, for this amp, and the amp is great, it's a 50 watt amp. And yeah. Yeah, it has that really heavy metal sound to it, and well, not heavy in that sense, but it has that heavy tone to it that people would associate with metal, I should say. So you can see that this guitar costs three forty-five. I would, if you were coming in at the two hundred euro mark, I wouldn't recommend. Uh, sorry, five hundred euro mark for the kit, the whole thing. I wouldn't recommend this. Instead, I'd recommend the Jackson Dinky. Is it? This is the thirty-two, isn't it? Yeah, I'd recommend the 22, which is an all natural one. Uh, it's 100 quid cheaper. It's actually 269, I think. I'll stick it up there, the actual price. But yeah, it's a bit cheaper. It's about, say, 90 quid cheaper, 80 quid. So you got 270 tied up into a guitar or 350, depending on which one you're going for. Uh, the boat by Jackson St. Pickles, only different is finish and trim. Um, 
metal pedal, which is about 50 to 60 to 70 around that mark, so say 70. So, so far you've gotten just over 300 if you're going for the Jackson, and just over 420, and then the amp, which is 220. So, in total, if you went with the this Jackson, the pedal, and don't buy the pedal, because the pedal you can get for the amp, but in total you're about 600 or 500 euro mark, so it's a good rig for the price, like, if I was starting out and I had money to throw a rig like this, I full heartedly would, it's a good rig. But, again, not my style of music, but it's a good rig all the same, so, I've been running, this has been the Halloween video for Everest Music, and it's been a metal rig. See you.